Hey guys, welcome to day 158 of my carnivore journey. And you guys, I really hope you guys are having a great journey also. Um, and again, I have gotten, okay, so I want to start out by saying I have gotten a lot of submissions on the website. Thank you all so, so much. I've been incorporating every single one that I can. I think that every submission, there's only one, bump the microphone. There's only one that I haven't done just yet, but once I get done recording, I'm going to go look that one up and, and add that to the website. But, but a ton of support for all carnivoreinfo.com. I think I even got some more donations. I've got to um, get uh, one of the uh, people that donate. I got to get them on the wall. Um, Mary uh, is a multiple time donation person. So I may have to like come up with something that because she's still in the same category for total amount, but she's donated like three separate donations. So I might have to put some kind of hash marks or Roman numerals or something, maybe just to like show that people's made multiple donations also as well. I never even thought about that. I just figured people would just maybe donate like one, one time or something. So, uh, but guys, thank you all so, so much. Um, all of those donations, again, they're going to go toward, building the website or, or keeping it going and, and, or also carnivore projects where we're going to be able to do some things. I, I got some other things that I, I don't, I can't get into yet. Um, but as far as updates, let's, I like to get to the updates as quick as possible because I know some of you don't want to hear me ramble on about other things. <laughs> so, um, but today I had a carnivore pizza. I thought, you know what? Um, because as you guys know, uh, because I share too much. I um, told you I had some loose bowel, right? So I figured, hey, what better way to counteract that than have a bunch of cheese? <laughs> so I had the uh, carnivore pizza. I ate half of it. Um, as you guys probably remember in the past, um, or some of you don't, again, we have a lot of new people. So in the past on one of those carnivore pizzas, I would, I would, I would eat about three quarters of it. Um, but today I ate half. Now I will say, because I had for lunch, I had like three hot dogs. Um, the, the lady at the gas station, she hooked me up with like a deal. I gotta quit bumping this mic. Sorry guys. But, uh, she hooked me up with three or four hot dogs, but I only, I can only eat three to be honest with you. I, I probably could have forced myself to eat the fourth one, but after the third one, I'm like, nah, I'm good. And I, was, and I was solid. I was good to go for the rest of the day. Um, so I just didn't eat that fourth one. And then um, but I wanted the carnivore uh, pizza. And yes, so I am going to be making some food videos. I told you guys I'm going to be doing that. Um, I just had to get situated here in the new house. So if you look behind me over here, everything's kind of in mirror. So if you look behind me over there. You'll see that that kind of nightlight back there that's on the wall um, in the middle of my kitchen. Actually, you can even see the light overhead in the middle of that kitchen. I'm going to be building an island uh, for my kitchen. Um, and the island is where I'm going to film a lot of the food video. Right now, it's a little awkward to kind of film in there. I mean, I, I can, but the island is going to make it perfect to film some food videos. And so what I'm going to do is some of the recipes that I make on a regular basis, I want to have videos for you guys. Um, and, and, and I'm going to try to share due credit because, because some of the stuff like the carnivore pizza, the crust itself um, is from a channel. I can't, I, I can't remember the name, but I, I know I have it. It's in one of my saved things and I, and I'll credit the channel. I I've done it before. Um, but, uh, but anyways, I'm going to film like when I make my version of carnivore pizza slash keto. Again, I did the keto version today with the sauce. But I added a little bit of homemade pizza sauce. But I'll show you guys how I do all that. I'm going to film all that. I have a roommate that's going to be moving in in two weeks. So he's going to be able to help me film and things like that. Like he knows what I do. He's going to be doing carnivore as well. He's talking about starting a vlog. Um, and if, if he does start a vlog guys, 
it'll be amazing. You'll have to like, you'll have to follow him too, because his journey is going to be amazing. I can't wait. He's a big boy and he's like six foot two or something, but he's a big boy and, and I'm excited to see his journey. Oh my God. Like he, it'll be awesome if we, if we can, uh, if he can commit, but he says he's committed for the first 90 days. Um, once he moves down here, he's going to do, you know, because he's going to move in with me and and I don't have anything else in this house. <laughs> so it's all just meat and eggs. So he, he ain't going to have much of a choice unless he starts buying his own. But I told him, I said, I don't, I don't, um, uh, I mean, I, I'd support him even if no matter what I would, you know, obviously take care of him as a roommate, like, you know, whatever diet he does, but, uh, I would just give him a hard time. Like, you know, make it like, Hey, you don't have a choice. You're living with me. You're going to be a carnivore, <laughs> but, but he's committed. So guys, I'm looking forward to that, but he's, he's, um, he's also moving down here. He's going to be part of the paranormal team for my, uh, my ghost hunting show, and so he'll be in the upcoming season two and stuff like that. And he he's he he came down and filmed and he was in episode or season one, episode five. And so uh, but he's a good dude, uh, good guy. And um, but he'll help me film some some more stuff, content for you guys. So I'm excited for that. Like I said, so like I, I told you guys, I got some more content for you, but I want to keep my daily vlogs just like this. I want I don't really want to. Put too much into them. I I, let, I know you guys pretty much just want maybe a few opinions, a little bit of information, and pretty much what I ate, how I feel. So I'm, I I want to stick to that same formula for you guys, and um, and, and I'm very grateful. I got a ton of comments. A lot of people that came over from from seeing my interview with Dave Mack, and um, and you guys have been so kind to to when you came in i've just had nothing but uh compliments and support from the new people coming in as well so again thank you all so so much i really appreciate it i really do and and you guys have really been making this journey so amazing um yeah uh, i know i'm wearing a different kind of shirt today you guys know probably you guys haven't seen me i'm usually either wearing like a black shirt <laughs> or a red shirt <laughs> Um, sometimes blue, maybe right. But, um, this is the first time I've been wearing a brown shirt. It, it, it looks okay. I mean, it's, it's, it's a size smaller. Um, some of my four X shirts now are starting to look like, you know, night shirts or something like nightgowns or something. They are, they are getting pretty big on me. I still have my gut though. Like, you know, I still have that major gut area. It's going to take time. That's going to be obviously the last thing to go on me. But it is shrinking, as you guys know. I've been measuring it, so even in this brown shirt, it fits me. But it it, it looks okay on me. I, I don't know. I'm still gonna probably wear some, but I might have to start getting some some new at least three X or I could probably wear two X. But I mean, I'm probably gonna get some three X shirts to fit a little better and where I still feel comfortable in them. You know, I I want to get rid of more of my gut before I really start investing in the new clothing, but. Unfortunately, this is my 4X shirts are getting fairly big, uh, so it is getting a little hard to wear those, which is a good thing. I'm not going to complain about it. So, <laughs> um, Let's see, anything else? Um, Bathroom-wise, I did have a regular um, I did have a regular poop today, but then I also, right before I started filming this, which was like, it's kind of a late, another late night, so I apologize, guys, but I had a small poop that was a little loose. So I'm not sure. Like I said, so my, my guts are a little up and down right now, but I don't feel it is. So what, you know, one thing I noticed like back when I was eating normal, like, or, you know, not, I don't want to say normal, but standard American diet. Right. Uh, when I was eating like that, you'd have bubble guts and you, you know, your stomach would do weird things, your intestines and stuff. That's the thing with, with this. It's like my stomach and my, my, intestines all that stuff feels normal but you just don't know until you have a uh, like a bowel movement and then you might be like oh well, it seems a little loose or something so i just wanted to clarify that in case you think like oh he's having bubble guts or something no no i mean my stomach feels pretty solid so um it's, it's nothing like that but you got to keep in mind and for those of you that don't know i'll just ref refresh some of the new people i don't have a gallbladder 
Okay, so I've been doing this with no gallbladder. I'm not taking any bile, no ox bile, no, I'm not doing anything. I'm just eating carnivore. I'm, I'm telling you guys what I eat every day. I'm not even taking supplements. I did try to take a few pinches of salt today a little bit. I felt like I was maybe close to having a few leg cramps today, maybe, but I couldn't quite tell. So I'm like, eh. You know, so I had a few pinches of salt and, you know, but everything seems to be fine. I had my coffee with my iodine drops. That's about the only thing that I really add that's not really part of my, like, the meat or whatever is iodine. Um, and again, I bought the bottle, so I'm just using the drops. Uh, I think that's about all I really had to pass on to you guys today. I'm trying to think if there's anything else because um, I covered... Uh, Oh, and I think I wanted to at least talk about this real quick. So bear with me just another minute, minute or two. And that is, guys, I, I've, I've, I have met some people that have done carnivore. Some people had success. They were on it for 90 days um, and, and some even a little bit more. And they've, they've, they've given up and they went back or they went to more of a... Um, I don't even want to say keto, but almost keto, but even a little bit outside of that. And, and that's still not good, though. It's still a mixed diet. And I try to find out why people sometimes quit carnivore on a long term basis. And it just seems to me that ultimately I'm getting the feeling that there's the, the people I keep talking to about it, they ultimately wanted to sort of fit back in like i think you know our culture is revolves around food and drink a lot i mean all of our celebrations holidays like i said the birthdays all the different things get togethers it's it's like drinking either sometimes alcohol drinks or just drink drinks in general uh, like sodas or whatever um cooking out, uh, bake-offs, birthday cakes, celebration cakes, candies, and all, all the stuff. You know, we just seem to, to always revolve around food and drink. And so it can be tough as a carnivore because you, you really do feel lonely sometimes in the world of food. And when you go to the stores and you see – and sometimes you'll see like these healthy, fit people and on the outside, they look like normal fitting people. And then they're like buying cake and you know, ice cream. And you're just like, oh, my God, you know, and then you hear about other people like, eh, you know, I mean, I, I stay pretty well in shape and I, I walk every day and I just have a little bit of ice cream every once in a while and a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And then it, it really can play tricks on your mind, guys. So. I just wanted to end by saying, stay strong. Remember, don't forget the long-term picture. Because again, when you start to, to give up and you start to give in and go back to the tasty poisons, that's just it. You're, you're back to slowly poisoning yourself. You know, don't fall back into that old pitfall of, well, maybe I can moderate now that I've lost this weight, now that I'm healthy. Remember what got you there. Remember what got you unhealthy and you couldn't moderate or you couldn't eat a standard diet. When you go to carnivore, I mean, there's a reason why. So I'm not saying you always have to be carnivore. I mean, like I said, I do a little bit of keto. But just remember, just, just don't forget the long-term goals, guys. Hang in there. Stay strong. Okay? All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.